Pacific Grove, California. It's the second major storm of the year. Swales installed earlier. And these are the swale mounds greening up. And we've put in some uh, baby sun rows to help reduce erosion. You can see that the low spots are capturing water. I had to put in a swale next to the building. Uh, gophers were tunneling and the tunnel led to this hole and that hole I had to put a swale in to move the water downhill. Everything's working very well so far. As the water maxes out its absorption into the ground, it starts to puddle down here. And due to the slope of the land, it moves down to my set of swales in the backyard or the side yard. And you can see that this one is empty, but the next swale sets are full. Or filling, I should say. And this has been a fairly decent rain. We're supposed to get roughly an inch of water today. You can see that there's quite a lot of water standing in the swales. At this point, you can see the high spots and the low spots in the swales due to the water level. It makes it really easy to adjust the swales when you're looking at them wet and you don't have to apply water of your own. All the runoff from the buildings are coming into these downspouts. All the downspouts lead down into a system that was built that goes into this drain. And this is a gravel pit. And right now this gravel pit is full. It's full of water. And it's, at le it's overflowed at least once. It's filled and you can see how it settled the land by almost an inch and the, the gravel settled and then the gravel ran off so I had to put in some swale trenches to reduce the erosion rate from the overflow pattern and over here I got a really cool fungus growing this was not here yesterday this fungus I don't know what kind of fungus it is, but this was fast. This this fungus grew within... Oh no, that's not fungus at all. I thought it was a fungus. That's just some clay. My apologies. I thought that was a fungus that spontaneously grown. Not true. So, anyways. Forget the fungus. <laughs> okay, so back to the swales. The swales are working properly. And they're holding water in the landscape. My clover is starting to pop. You can see here a low spot in my in that swale. You can see that this swale is fairly uniform in its height dimension, or its its trench dimension is fairly uniform. Here's water standing on uh, clay. There was some sand in here, but it's hasn't mixed yet. And then these are my highest swales on the property in the backyard. And you can see that all the runoff from this hardscape is going to move down into that swale trench. So all my hardscape runoff is coming from all the way up there. And the hard pan is allowing the water to build up and then it flows down here and what doesn't flow down here gets diverted by this little expansion joint and it comes down these steps and then goes down the steps right and as it goes down the steps it turns comes into here so i'm going to need to put more sand in this location because that travels downhill all the way to my swales and then off the property in that far corner right there 
interesting stuff. So we're going to look for other flooding spots. This is all looking pretty good. Now this is all clay, so it should saturate and hold water like it's holding water down in here. And uh, we want to avoid holding water if we can, but we couldn't do anything about the clay layer. We can add a lot of sand into here and build up the layer with sand, and that's probably what we're going to end up doing. This is full. That's now a little pond. Um, this water weight is is weighs a lot, and the hydraulic pressure is um, pretty rigorous. So we may come in here and we may punch holes in this concrete just to have a drain here and down in here. So that way this water drains out, but the, this all slips away. So eventually the water will drain out here if it fills up too much. And you can see it draining out right here. So here's where it's, it's draining off the, the surface. So this is never gonna get much taller than that. And that's the water heading down, 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 down away from the house. So everything is good. Have a great day.